There are cases where different ensemble systems, or even within the same ensemble system, will have very distinct solutions within the meteorological parameter spaces. This can add uncertainty to the forecast because you won't know which outcome could be correct. If there are two predominant solutions, we call this a bimodal distribution. If there are more than two predominant solutions, we call this a multimodal distribution. Bimodal distributions are a special case of multimodal. The fact that there are two distinct peaks makes this a specific type of a multimodal distribution. The differences between bimodal and multimodal distributions can be subtle, and they can show up within any of the previous distributions we have discussed. Being able to pick out the details in the distributions will be the trickiest, but most important task because they can have big implications in information provided to our partners and those requesting probabilistic IDSS. In this example, it's a pretty clear-cut case of a bimodal distribution. There are two nearly equal probabilities for temperature to be around either 30 to 32 degrees Fahrenheit or 38 to 40 degrees Fahrenheit, with approximately 26 and 27 percent of the members, respectively. Then, there's a quick tail down either sides of that so you can see the 100 members from the Grand Ensemble are favoring those two temperature ranges. This is significant because 30 to 32 degrees means temperatures at or below freezing, but there's nearly an equal chance temperatures will stay in the 38 to 40 degree range. This is a pretty critical difference if there is precipitation in the forecast at the same time. Multimodal distributions will have multiple peaks in the histogram, and the following examples reflect this. In our first example, you can see that there are multiple peaks throughout the histogram indicating higher probability of these temperatures occurring relative to the whole distribution. These peaks do not have to be close to each other to be considered multimodal. Even though the peak and maximum temperature is centered around the 45 to 50 degree Fahrenheit range, lower peaks exist in the 25 to 30, 60 to 65, and even in the 70 to 75 degree range. The probabilities are low, but there is a strong indicator that the underlying ensemble data need to be evaluated to see what the reasons could be for producing multiple peaks. Our second example is taken from 10 meter wind speeds which, if you remember, is calculated using a gamma distribution. In this case, there are two peaks with the exact same percentage of members from 15 to 20 and 20 to 25 miles per hour, with 25 to 30 miles per hour one percentage point higher. If those values are important in a decision support services event, with a threshold of 25 miles per hour, even though there is technically a 24% chance of 25 to 30 mile per hour wind speeds, there is still a 23% chance of 15 to 20 or 20 to 25 mile per hour wind speeds. Again, investigating the ensemble data to see why the distribution is multimodal would be a wise idea to figure out why there is a 15 mile per hour range of possible wind speeds that crosses a potential threshold. Lastly, it can be very difficult to figure out why any type of multimodal distribution is showing up in histograms and extremely difficult, if not impossible, to determine this from a box and whisker plot. That's why it's important to examine the underlying ensemble data to see if the distribution is driven by differences between ensembles or modeling systems. Measures of central tendency will also be hard to use for both, but especially in the case of bimodal distributions. The mean and median will almost always fall in the middle between the two peaks of a bimodal distribution. This leads to the two peaks being missed in a bimodal distribution as well as the potential for statistical fields not to show the full story behind the data. The same can also be said for multimodal distributions, depending on how the peaks are located. Some statistical plots will miss out on the peaks in the data because of how the mean and median are calculated and displayed.